All right, guys. I'm, this is your buddy Ken Dips here. Today, I'm going to be doing my E3 roundup for you guys. Um, so I saw all the press conferences. I actually saw the. Um, we started off with the Microsoft one, and I'm pretty sure I streamed it for you guys. Uh, but then I also saw the Square Enix one. I saw uh, Bethesda, and then I saw uh, the best one. I'm going to tell you the Square Enix one and the Nintendo one were the best this year. Um, so they listed a whole bunch of neat games that I thought uh, were kind of cool. Uh, Nintendo has the, the new Zelda game. They have the Fire Emblem. They have um, games that I'm super excited for, which is Secret of Mana. Trials of Mana uh, is the other one. Uh, I'm, it, Trials of Mana, the, the game comes out today, and I'm picking it up right now. Um, so I'll be showing you the guys that today. Um, uh, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of games. Uh, Dragon Quest uh, 11 is coming for Nintendo Switch. There's a uh, Nintendo ha and Luigi's Mansion all look good. Um, I have to admit, Nintendo stole the show for me. Uh, Square Enix also, with their Final Fantasy 7, um, sold the show for me as well. Uh, the other ones were mediocre. Um, Tales of Arise were was the other one that that was pretty neat. I thought. Um, Anything else? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we well, have yeah, Marvel, uh, and their game was pretty cool. Um, I've already pre-ordered certain games already, so um, I couldn't get um, Cyberpunk because it's all sold out. Um, but this is a game that I would want to get uh, pre-ordered, but the problem is it's sold out. And the other thing also is this game might go on sale. It's one of those games that's probably going to go on sale like a year from now. So... You know, I could probably wait it out. I'll have some other games to play, like the Avengers. I did pre-order that one. I pre-ordered Gears of War 5. Um, and I was mixed on it, but I'm pre-ordering it because it's much cheaper than buying it outright. Uh, and then Jedi Fallen um, uh, Fallen Order. Yes, I pre-ordered that one. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, it's by Respawn. And um, uh, I got uh, Astral Chain. I got uh, Link's Awakening, and uh, I already got the Pokemon game, which is you know I'm super excited for. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I didn't see anything else that uh, was too astounding or too neat, but definitely Secret of Mana. Oh, Resident Evil is coming for the Nintendo Switch as well, but it's Resident Evil Five and Six, so um, I probably will probably skip that. Um, yeah. All right, guys. That is my roundup for E3. Let me know what you think uh, of this year. And if, if you guys agree with me on Nintendo being the best. I have to admit, Nintendo was probably the best this year. Uh, and Square Enix was a close second. The Microsoft one was, uh, I thought those games were kind of boring. Um, yeah, I think Forza was probably their biggest thing. But other than that, games were okay. Um, yeah. Sony never didn't have any big announcements, so I'm not too you. Know, and we know Last of Us is coming, you know, and that's their big game. Uh, and then their new new systems are slated for next year, so I'm pretty sure all most of those games are going to be slated for the next system. So, uh, what else? Um, yeah, there's a lot of games coming 2020, by the way. So, I'm just waiting on that. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, guys, post below or subscribe to the channel.